All right. So, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time you are watching this video. First and foremost, I just want to say thank you for all the love and support on the last video. Uh, you guys are insane. I really do appreciate it. Uh, all of that love and support transfers over to me making more content like this, where today I'm going to be going over uh, what's in this box. Now, let me start by saying that uh, I have an addiction and it is not a good one. Uh, but nonetheless, I have been needing what is in this box for a while now and I decided to go Ben Baller edition, I guess you could say, of the product that I got. It's already in the title of the video, you guys, probably. But it's in the title of the video, probably again. Anyways. I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. I don't know what to say or what to do, but none else get into what is in this box. So without exposing myself here, yeah, it sounds like goodies and I exposed myself. Wonderful. Let's flip it this way. What if I do the unboxing like this where I'm just hugging the box? Ah, I need something to open this up with. And I'm looking around and I don't have nothing to open this up with. So we're just gonna rip this sucker open. And just like that, the box has been unlocked. Trash. Anywho, let's get in here and see what we have. I'm excited for this one because like I was mentioning earlier, um, here you go. There's a sneak peek of what's inside here. Something from Snap-on. Caleb, why do you keep buying so many Snap-on tools? They're some of the most expensive out there and there's honestly better options. Well, to answer that question, I get a extremely nice discount from Snap-on because I'm an automotive student uh, and I get to kind of, you know, have that super nice discount. It makes sense now while I have that discount to take advantage of getting as much Snap-on stuff as I can, because let's be honest, some people say this, some people say that, but from my own personal experience, they make some of the best tools in the game, aside from some other companies. Obviously, there's competition out there, but nonetheless, I represent Snap-on, I stand by Snap-on, I love their products, and I'm excited to see how... Ooh. So, right off the bat, I had no idea that this was going to come in the way that it did. Uh, be that as it may, but I am happy that it actually came this way because uh, it helps with organization. Information you do not need to see. It's out of there. All right, what's in here? Is it in the title of the video? I don't know. Do you buy this snap-on item or do you not? I do not know. I will leave that up to you whether or not you want to pay full pop for it, but I myself got that nice discount. So out of the box here what do we have nice wrapping i guess there but off to the side and what do we have oh you probably already saw it from the back already but this microphone keeps sagging my shirt down so if i start to look ugly down here then i apologize nonetheless we have the four piece striking pry bar set as you could probably see right here uh i don't know if you could pick up the uh item number or uh, product ID number, whatever you want to call it, but here it is, here it is, here it is. Is it not close enough? Here it is. Zoom out a little bit. I mean, move back, whatever. But anyways, wow. You have SPBS704ADT, the four piece striking pry bar set from Snap-on. Coming in this nice blow molded case, let me be honest, 
I am not the biggest fan of blow molded cases. I have been using the blow mold case from the uh, Icon uh, Professional Mechanics uh, screwdriver slash flathead set. Uh, and I actually have been enjoying that, surprisingly. The plan was for me to not use that case and just to have it laying down in my US general box. But it ended up not working out. They're too big and uh, the box does not close properly. So I wasn't able to follow through with that plan. But anyways, I'm beginning to like blow molded cases. And this is the first blow molded case I have from Snap-on. Uh, now, let's obviously get into this. Let me show you all of the pry bars. I'm excited to see them myself firsthand. Um, you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at here. Uh, the ending of this uh, product ID number, DT, that is the color in which the pry bars are. DT meaning dark titanium. I am a sucker for gray. If you watched my last video, you already know with the gray US journal box, the gray snap-on box, they look amazing. Uh, and nonetheless, the hand tools from Snap-on that is offered in the gray, like my 3 8 Impact, uh, is also really, really nice, super clean. I'm in love with it. I can't get enough of it. And that's why I decided to opt for the Dark Titanium Snap-on Striking Pry Bars. Now, this is a little bit on the steep side as far as a pry bar set goes, but you're paying for the quality. You're paying for the name. And yeah, uh... If you want to go the cheap route, there's this beautiful place called Harbor Freight. I'm sure you heard of it. I was in a Discord uh, call um, channel, but uh, people peered out of nowhere and then started listening to the video that I'm making now. Leaving off wherever I left off, I do apologize, but um, as mentioned before, gotta love the dark titanium. Let's open this up nonetheless and uh, take a closer look at what Snap-on has offered with this four-piece striking pry bar set. Uh, we'll get some... I don't... Dude, I... Someone... I don't even have a P.O. box. I, I didn't need it. I got it open. We're good. Trash. All right. Trash. Okay. Now. Got the nice S on here, too. That's pretty cool. Not that that'll ever be used, but... Man, let's pull out the small one first. We'll actually set this down right here. Hopefully y'all can still see me a-okay. First off, the feeling. Uh, these feel solid. Uh, very, very nice. I do like how the uh, actual pry bar material here itself is uh, black. Very nice. Goes very well with the dark titanium uh, to give you a closer up look. Hopefully that's close enough. I have no idea. Typically, I shoot in wide angle mode just to capture everything. But so you can kind of get a glance here of what to expect. And then obviously, like mentioned before, these are striking pry bars. So you get your uh, striking platform here. Very, very nice. And then to uh, pull off the little protective tip here, which is also greased, I now know. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Very nice and very greasy. Put that back on. Wasn't expecting that, but they uh, come greased from factory. Thanks. Yeah, these are nice. I do like them. I love the color. Uh, the dark titanium is sick. Um, and I love the fact that it did come in a case. Uh, it would have been cool for the uh, case to have been like foam. I'm a sucker for foam cases. Uh, you've seen the Capri foam cases that I have. I absolutely love them. Um, so I do wish that this would have came in a foam case. I'm sure it probably does 
somehow somewhere um, maybe if you buy the even bigger set if there is one uh, but I can settle for the blow mold case it is a very nice case nonetheless you get the nice snap-on uh, logo here and then obviously you get a spot for each one of the four pry bars so super nice uh now sizing wise uh man i do not remember and i don't know if it actually says it on the box somewhere it doesn't but uh that's okay i can do a quick little search here to the snap-on website so this set is included with the 8 inch a 12 inch an 18 inch and a 24 inch so one more time i'm going to show you guys this is the eight inch uh this is pry bar wise i would probably say this is good really tight areas um somewhere where you know it's not like you need something insane um to pry on but uh even man honestly if they're not stubborn enough say like I don't know, like valve covers, if they're being stubborn. Um, I think this would be something nice to have for that. But I won't know until I actually get to using it. it really, the way I use my tools is kind of like uh, right then and there. Like, hey, this might be a good option, and then I give it a shot. But uh, to show you the rest of the pry bars, this one surprisingly did not come with a little protective cap. But this is the 12-inch. And it's got some weight on it, to be honest with you, uh, just from holding it firsthand here. It is, man, that is trippy. Anywho, uh, I'm getting off sidetrack here. I'm going to show you the 12-inch snap-on pry bar right here. Very nice, very greasy. I'm going to have to clean these up with shop rags. But we have the 18-inch, even more. Uh, to be honest. Okay, this has a little bit more weight, but this compared, the 12 inch compared to the 8 inch is definitely noticeable in weight. And then the 12 inch to the 18 inch, eh, not too crazy, but this is a little bit heavier. Uh, just so you can see the 18 inch. Very nice. Um, plenty of Man, control on, I, I, I can already imagine what I'd be doing with this. Very nice. And then, not the biggest of them all, but the biggest in this set, which is the 24-inch. This is a solid club, if you may. Anywho, uh, this came with a protective uh, little cap on it. Very nice. Very nice. Very oily. We'll obviously clean that up before use, but nonetheless... This is the four-piece snap-on pry bar set, and I do uh, indeed like them very much. Now, obviously, uh, as mentioned before, striking uh, ends so that you can smack whatever you need to smack with the pry bar and not actually damage it, which is nice, but that's pretty much it. Um, this is a very simple unboxing. Uh, I'll try to edit this up as... Uh, easy as possible and as painless for y'all to watch as possible uh, but yeah this is without flipping the tools out this is the four piece striking pry bar set from snap-on listed at 259 dollars even on their website like i mentioned before because i am a student uh in the automotive field i do receive a discount so uh it helps out tremendously when buying expensive tools like like this um but yeah that is pretty much it. I don't really know what else to tell you. It's a pry bar set. It's used to pry on things. There's dogs barking in the background. And yeah, that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Do you agree on going the snap-on route for pry bars? Uh, for anyone else out there that has a set of pry bars, uh, what have you been using? What do you use? What do you prefer? Um, what would you like to get in the future if you currently don't have a set or even if you do let me know in the comments down below that's pretty much it from me today 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to leave without leaving a like. Comment if you want to comment. Let me know what kind of pry bars you've been using. What are you most comfortable with? And yeah, as always, the subscribe button is free. Don't forget about that. So if you want to stay up to date as far as when I continue to upload my videos and you like my videos, much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe and obviously turn the notification bell on. And with that being said, I'm finally getting out of here. I feel like I'm done here. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.